So far this offseason has gone exactly like we thought. Eagles would focus free agency on defense and getting younger. And so far, that's exactly what they did. And now, now they added a linebacker. Yep, the cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. It's Gary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Hans. Dallas still stinks. You're by doing King Ding Bad here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this news will help your day to get even better. It may confuse you, and you may be like, who the hell is that? But the Eagles went out and finally got themselves a linebacker. They may not have got the linebacker we wanted. Maybe they got the one we need. Who knows? The Eagles go ahead and sign former Chargers linebacker Jatavis Brown to a one-year deal. Now, you're saying, yo, Dingbat, who the hell is that? And why would they sign him? And this is, this is the Eagles' MO, man. This is what they do. This is what they do. The Eagles don't value linebackers in the same regards as other teams. It's just not the way it is. Look at Bradham gone. Look at Grugier Hill gone. The Eagles feel that if you have a defensive line that can get pressure and is really good, it makes your linebackers better. So the Eagles signed Jatavis Brown. He's going to be going into, I believe, his fifth year. He was drafted in 2016 in the fifth round from Akron. He's 5'11", 221 pounds. He's a very athletic, very fast uh, linebacker. He's played, he started in 23 of 56 games. I think the last year, maybe last few years, he's been kind of designated to special teams guy, okay? So maybe he's he's kind of like a Grugier Hill guy. I, I got to be honest, I haven't seen too much of him, okay? Um, I'm going to have to go watch him, but I can tell you this. This is what the Eagles do. This is what they do. They go out and they get these linebackers. And I'm willing to bet you he didn't get a lot of money uh, for this signing, okay? Now, the, the numbers are not out yet, but this is the Eagles and this is what they do. And and, and I'm going to be honest with you, it, it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't bother me that much um, because I know this is what they do. This is how they are. And if, if he can play linebacker, if he's decent, we'll see. He is 26 years old. He is very athletic, very fast. And maybe the Eagles see him in terms of like how how people are seeing Will Parks, the defensive back of the Broncos, who was my 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 prediction for the Eagles' next signing. Um, but maybe they see him, you know, as somebody whose best days are in front of him, and going to another team will help out a lot. I I don't know too much about him. I know that he's very athletic. He can fly around the field. Um, some of the things I was watching in his rookie year with the Chargers, um, you you know, he, he looked pretty good, but. He did lose his starting job, and he was special teams uh, primarily last year. And, and maybe the Eagles are focusing it more on special teams, I don't know. But one thing remains the same. One thing we can say for sure about what the Eagles are doing. They are focusing on defense in, in free agency. And you're going to see them focus early on on offense in the draft. I, I'm, you know, this is almost... 100% now. Now, the, that doesn't mean the Eagles won't sign a wide receiver or something like that. It's just that early on, it's been defense. And the reason I think we didn't see them come out yesterday and make any big splashes or big signings is I think they're waiting for the market to come down, the price to come down, because the people that are still left either want too much money or they don't value as high. So, um, Jatavis Brown, this is Howie Roseman's MO. This is what the Eagles do. They don't spend a lot of money at the linebacker, but they throw tons of money into that defensive line. And for one, I, I, I'm going to give this guy a chance. I'm going to see what he can do. It's not the splashy guy and a splashy name at the position that you're looking for. But that doesn't mean he can't be effective. He can't play. He won't be good on special teams. The kid is 26 years old. Okay, so I'm willing to give him a chance, willing to see what he can do. But so far, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I haven't watched too many Chargers games over the last so many years. I watched Philip Rivers here there. But um, Jatavis Brown, from everything I hear, very talented physically. So we'll see 
We'll see how the Eagles use him. Uh, maybe I'm thinking like Grugier Hill kind of role, that kind of thing. And uh, we'll find out. Don't forget, I, I like TJ Edwards a lot too. I mean, we still got TJ Edwards. We got Nate Gary, who I'm not really big on Nate Gary. I think he's, you know, serviceable, but too small really for a linebacking position. However, I do like TJ Edwards, and I think he's going to be a player. So. We're going to have to see how this fits in. I, I don't think they're done at linebacker. I don't think they're done on defense. I don't even think they're done today. I think we'll see something else go down, whether it's big, whether it's small, who knows. But Jatavis Brown is a Philadelphia Eagle. He is a linebacker. And no matter what you think about him or not you know, signing a big name, the Eagles need linebackers. They need bodies just as bad as they need people that, that can start and that kind of thing. So keep your eye out. See what the Eagles are going to do next. I may be back later for a live stream. With that said, let me know what you think about this signing. Take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.